Hi. Right. How many of you like to clean those uh, dirty blades? See? Dirty blades. The common problem is that don't matter how much you try, this thing don't come out. So today I'm going to show you how to pull the blades out on a cheap ass fan like this one. Typical bullshit LED fan. First thing you want to do that's to remove the sticker in the back, which I already did before. Okay, because I'm going to keep this video nice and short. Now the guy's messing with me. So I get my trust to pick and pull the bitch out. There you go. Now, if you're looking down there, I already pulled it out, but there is a white washer, plastic. Okay? Don't expect anything fancy. Now, what you do, you're going to need two tools. Okay? You really need a pick. And a tiny screwdriver. See? Tiny. You hold the white washer down with the screwdriver and then with the pick. Open it up so it comes off. Okay? Once the little bastard is off, you pick up the fan, push, and the blades are out. Now look in there. There's a magnet in the fan. So don't worry about if it's going to stay on or not because it will. You snap it back in. Put the clip back in there. Now, if you see near, see this little tiny rubber gasket? You need to put the son of a bitch back in there. Okay? Okay, you just place it on there. And then again, with two tools. One, let me get my light down here because I ain't seen a damn thing. There you go. You guys see? Okay, good. Now, with two tools again. Why just run the shit out of me? One holds it. One holds it. The other one pushes it down. See? Okay. That's in there. Okay. So once you did that, see there's a little black thing in there. You glue this back on. That's done. Now, next thing is that I don't know, this is a little bit more funny. I don't know if you guys want to do it or not. But to change LEDs on the fans. Uh, let me put this label back on so I can show you what I'm talking about. Most of the fans, the LEDs are soldered right over here, see? These are the LEDs. This is a power that comes in and these LEDs. Now, you probably say, why would I want to go and change the LEDs when I could buy a fan already with the LEDs that the color I'm choosing already on? I say, well... Sometimes it, when you customize, it doesn't exactly work the way you want it to. It's always one thing on another. But I have a, um, if you're in a custom PC, you probably have a shitload of spare parts. So this is what I came out with. I had a, an old red fan, and right now I need a, a red LED fan. Then I said, well, why am I going out and buy a new fan when I could use the LEDs from this fan, put it on there, and I have a red fan? And I don't have to go out and spend four bucks or five dollars, whatever it is. Now, if the fan is good, now this is cheap ass fan. You could pick it up for like three or four dollars. If that's a good fan, like a twelve, thirteen, or seventeen dollar fan, and you just want to change the LEDs, or some of the most expensive fans, the one I velocity fans, which are twenty three, twenty four, twenty five dollars, do not come with LEDs. Okay, but you could put LEDs on. Now the trick is. Every time you put LEDs on the fan, you'll be taking power from the fan itself because the LEDs use it. So that's why most of the LEDs fans don't, don't have a lot of CFCs to move cubic feet per minute. Anyway, so this is what I devised. Here you go. I had a whole cheap ass fan which had red LEDs. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Yeah and the blade in the front was cracked so i took this out and what i'm going to do i'm going to put a some kind of a barrier between this and then and flip the motherfucker over like that and i have red leds in the fan see now for example say you buy a high powered fan that don't come with leds this is a good option to be able to put leds on there and check this out since the LEDs are not part of the fan, you could use these 
to put into a sand control unit and your LEDs be sand reactive. So in another way, if I put a, say for example, um, a sticker on there, any sticker, a piece of tape, it could be anything, right? As long as it separates this from there, put it here like that, right? Now I'll take those out, put this back in the hole. Now the trick is to keep them in. You could either use a, a glue stick, which I, you know, I don't suggest it because if you want to take the shit back out, it's going to be glued and it won't work. But what I find that to be really, really, really good to hold them in, it's candle wax. So you put the tank in there and you look, you know, cover them up with candle wax and it should keep them in the hole and keep them from shooting out anyway. Uh, now the thing you want to make sure that, you know, with the magnifying lens, if you can make sure the LEDs are not touching, because otherwise it's going to shoot out, okay? And then once you put up some kind of uh, insulation over here, and then you put these on, right? And you glue it down somehow. And then you put this into a sun control modular, right? And actually your LEDs will be sun reactive and you have a very cool fan. I, I did that on, on a couple of my fans, but I just came out with a new way of doing it, which unfortunately I ain't going to show you because it's a trade secret. And, uh, but this is good enough. You could do, um, custom fans like this to have a sun reactive so when when your your regular fan will work fine this is your regular fan right this is your uh, dancing leds so you could have a, a fan that will react to sun which is a pretty cool thing if you were into that uh i happen to be into that a lot uh, I, I think my my custom pc they look more like a light display than the pc yourself but anyway it's just a thing Thank you. I hope you liked it. Bye.